Welcome to day 253 of the 300 Movie Challenge. Today we watched the highest grossing film of June 2015, which was um, Jurassic World. So I'd heard for a long time that like, okay, well, well, I guess not super long because the film's only as of right now, I'm about three and a half years old, but whatever. Um, of course, the first movie is like, you know, it's a great movie, everyone likes it, okay, whatever, right? Mm. And I always heard, you know, the sequels weren't as good, everyone, like, especially shits on Jurassic Park 3, whatever, but I always heard, you know, this is a, this one, this one's the, the, the good one. Maybe it's not as good as the original one, but it's, you know, they got the S's down. This is a good, this is, you know, good, a good enough sequel. I think this is the worst one. And I can't believe I'm saying that. And I could maybe understand if you don't quite think that far. But. God, every, every single character, except for the guy who I know is played by Chris Pratt, is a complete fucking moron. Like, holy shit. This movie has the dumbest idea I have ever heard in my entire life. Which is the fucking dumbass who's like, oh yeah, let's train the raptors for the military. What the fuck? <laughs> I have never heard a dumber idea in my entire life. That it, it fucking... The dumb piece of shit who brought a snowball into Congress to prove that global warming isn't real is smarter than this motherfucker. Who's gonna train dinosaurs for the fucking military? Are you goddamn shitting on my face? Holy fuck! And then everything that goes wrong in this movie. Well, okay, not everything, but like. Okay, everything that goes wrong in this movie is divided into two categories. The first category is just like. It, it's the opposite of. I said it was the opposite of plot convenience, where literally, like, it's so contrived in how wrong things go that, like. You know, it's like the worst possible scenario yeah. that could be imagined. But A plot inconvenient. <laughs> sure. But that said, so many people make like the worst fucking decisions. Like this, so much of this shit comes down to like incompetence and like corruption where like you absolutely should not have corruption. It's like, why do you have, you, you are having, hiring people, you know, to run to a, a park for dinosaurs you that fucking kill people. And, like, your, your whole, like, especially the scientist guys who are like, oh, we're, like, genetically creating this thing, you know. Oh, okay, cool, genetically create this thing. We have the power of fucking genetics. We could bioengineer a dinosaur, so we could do something that even, like, looks cool as shit, but, like, we could also, like, make it, like, you know, really, like, friendly and not that it would, like, actually kill people. No, let's make a fucking thing that's, like, a T-Rex, but, like, smart as hell, that can camouflage itself and, like, also can, like, you know, pack hunt with raptors. Fucking genius! Let's do that! And set that loose everywhere. I mean, loose, okay. And build a containment unit that, like, they don't even know, like, you know, yeah, sure, let's, like, contain this thing because we don't even know what the fuck it can do. Like, they don't even know it can, like, camouflage itself. They barely understand it's, like, yes. infrared thing. Like, what the fuck? Like, okay, yes, are people incompetent? Yes, are people stupid? Yes, are people corrupt? Yes. But you don't hire those fucking people to run this shit! Hello? Oh my god! I think you bring up a good point, too, where it's like, yeah, why didn't they just genetically modify the dinosaurs so that they wouldn't eat people? So they could act like, I don't know, like your house pet, like a hamster? And again, the justifications, they're like, oh, they want it to be big and bad and scary or whatever. And it's like, first of all... Yeah, I when the scientist was like, well, in your like thing, I thought it, when he was, when the guy came and was like, what did you create? And... The scientist was like, well, this is what you said in your memo. And I thought that he was going to go into, like, this thing. But literally, he's like, oh, but you wanted it with more teeth and cooler and everything. And I was like, those were not the words of justification that I expected to hear from well, you. Even, okay, no. first of all, I don't even buy the thing that, like, oh, it's been, like, ten years. And, like, oh, people have, like, gone to getting tired of just boring old dinosaurs. Bullshit. Bullshit fucking Disneyland is, you know, millions of people in it, and it's fucking Disneyland. It's been Disneyland for fucking decades. 
People aren't getting tired of, like, Disneyland, okay? They don't get tired of fucking T-Rexes and raptors and shit. Like, bullshit. That is not how that works. And so, apparently you can... And, okay, and again, so, they have all this shit, and... And, of course, so, they genetically modify it to do these things. But, again, think of this from an entertainment perspective, okay? So, like, they want... Okay, sure, they want a cool, badass new dinosaur. Alright, cool. Why the fuck would you want to make it camouflage? <laughs> So you can't see it. They can't it. see it. Hello? Literally, why would you do that? Also, why would you make it smart? Wouldn't you want to make it dumb so it would just stand there and be like, there are people and like not do anything? Like Or it can turn pink. Or whatever. <laughs> like, so you can't do that. And so you make it, you know, smart, you make it camouflage. Again, the thermal vision. Why is that a thing? Literally, why? <laughs> There's no reason for it to be able to do that. And so all this shit. And even then. You, and you have, again, the power of genetic engineering. You, they created this thing from their own fucking manipulation of genetics. And it kind of just looks like a T-Rex. Yeah. Why didn't you yeah. make this thing look cool as shit? You could have made a fucking, like, dragon-looking thing. Or make a fucking weird-ass shit with, like, I don't know, like, tentacles or, like, three heads. Like, fucking whatever. Like, go all the way if you're going to do that even from, like, you know, a visual effects standpoint. Because, again, it's just like, oh, it's like a fucking albino T-Rex. Ooh, whatever. But it can do all this other shit that is completely irrelevant to the idea of showing this off to, like, the public. It's just... Duh. Oh my god, I cannot believe how stupid everything in this movie is. I cannot believe this. And I... And, and okay, I understand some people, they can look past that and they just, you know, oh, they want to see, like, the dinosaurs eat people or whatever because they're fucking sadistic motherfuckers. I don't know. I mean, like, I kind of like 2012, but, like... So I guess I understand the idea of disaster, destruction, whatever, but, like, at least the guys in 2012 were, like, okay? The characters, like, you didn't literally hate everybody? So... You hate, like, everybody, except, again, Chris Pratt, who's just as fine, but he doesn't really do anything, and, again, everyone shits on him, so, like, whatever. And, the uh, fucking... Okay, but anyway, even, like, the destruction is kind of, like, not that great. Like, you have, like, the the flying things attacking the crowd of people, which is, like, I guess kind of neat, but it doesn't last for... Hmm? So, this is basically... Why is there even... Why didn't they think that building a theme park was a good idea? Because that doesn't that go against, like, all the previous movies? Yeah, I don't... Because, okay, the first movie they tried doing that, it failed catastrophically. And then the second and third movies kind of proved the whole fact of, yeah, I think this is a bad idea. I don't think people should be here and stuff. I, I don't know. I don't understand. And then again, the fucking... The Mosasaur thing, where it's like, he literally could just jump out and, like, eat people, like, so easily. <laughs> and again, he does that at the end of the movie, which, okay, I I remember specifically. I have heard that, you know, the I've heard that, like, that fight scene between the T-Rex and the fucking Indominus Rex, whatever. Like, I've heard that, oh, that fight scene is, like, so cool. It's not really, like, first of all, it's night, so you can't see it that well. And even then... It only lasted, like... A minute? It lasted like That's two like, minutes. You can also get confused between the two because they look very That close. and also yeah. what can they do to each other? Bite each other. Ooh, cool. I I just went get to see them go back and forth and kind of bite, like drag each other around. Like, ooh, so exciting. Like and then there's the fucking like tiny rafter kind of runs in to do like literally nothing. And I'm just thinking, like, you're supposed to be smart. Why would you just be like, fuck this shit, I'm out, and like run away? Hello? Are mm -hmm. you stupid? So God, literally, the fucking animals are stupid. So, all of this is dumb. I, I'm, i like, I'm, like, actually mad at how dumb this is. Like, I might have to put this lower than I than I originally had this. <laughs> I, I'd rather watch fucking Frozen over this. I'm not even kidding. Okay, yeah, wow. I fucking said it. So, ah, uh, I am, like, actually mad at this movie. Like, I can't put it, like, bottom tier, like, despise, because it's, like, at least looks okay. And, and to be honest, the CGI is, like, I guess kind of good, but honestly... I'd argue, like, for the time, maybe some of the previous movies were better. Um, but, and at least Chris Pratt's okay, but I am, like, actually mad at this movie. Because, and I remember, we, we just fucking watched, you know, 
Avengers Age of Ultron, I remember saying the end of that, like, oh, even if the next thing is bad, it'd only be, like, Furious 7. Fuck no. This is, like, by way worse than Furious 7. It might even be worse than the fucking, the fourth one that we saw that pissed me off. I am, like, actually super mad at this movie. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Okay, this director guy, okay, he was originally going to direct Star Wars Episode 9. I am so fucking glad they're not doing that anymore, because... Oh my god, I'd be so pissed uh, if he was doing that, because apparently he made some movie that, like, people, everyone thought was bad, but, like, and so they're like, oh no, screw this guy, but again, people, I, I don't understand how people like this movie. Even if you want to see dinosaurs eat people and all that kind of shit, the other movies do that, and they're not this uh, incredibly, like, contrived and full of just stupid, stupid, stupid shit everywhere, just... Oh my god, I am so fucking mad. I... Uh, eh, eh. I'm angry. I hate this movie. Okay, um... <laughs> um How is I this fell asleep, the... so <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know exactly. Okay. Um, we don't have a snake scene. Well, we do have snakes in the movie, but... Oh, not... I, did, I did realize something when you were talking about, um... The, uh, the, the, the pterosaurs. Yeah. Um, didn't that happen at the end of, like, the third Oh, Jurassic yeah, Park? the end of the third yeah. movie was the pterosaurs flying off into the sunset, and it's like, oh, I guess they just don't matter anymore. <laughs> so I was like, wait, did they do that on purpose? Where It was also called the birdcage at the time, too, or something, and then they broke. That. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. And they then broke they out. I guess and now they're they going to populate again. other islands, but then that, I guess that never happened. I don't know. Oh my god. The only thing that I thought was at least, I noticed that was at least kind of like, oh, clever. Well, okay, not clever, but like, okay, the, when the two kids, which by the way, like, especially like that older kid is just like a dickhead for like no reason. But anyway, um, the, uh, but they, they find like some, you know, old, like, building or whatever and like it's that's like from the first movie apparently and again there's like the truck with the old logo on it or whatever so it's like oh look it's like fan service or but like so that's like not subtle and it's like not even that creative like well yeah if, if it's on the same island as the first one why why do they build all this new shit they had all the pre maybe got to start out oh, fucking whatever but the one thing that i noticed that was like actually kind of a somewhat subtle actually kind of nod to the previous movies is that i remember the the raptor sounds that they were making were, like, the same raptor sounds that, like, they were doing in, like, Jurassic Park 3, where it was the whole thing where you had, like, the, the like, jaw or whatever and was, like, trying so to So the larynx? Yeah, so, like, it was yeah. the same noises, so I was like, okay, that's actually kind of a n nice tie-in for that. That's, like, you know... So, like, that is, like, a fine thing to do, is, like, you know, oh, look, we're acknowledging the previous movies, oh, whatever. But that's literally, like, literally, I can't think of anything else positive to say about this. <laughs> Literally can't. I cannot think of anything else at all. And all of you people who like, like, I, I, I just dumbfounded that people like this. I cannot believe that people legitimately thought this was a good movie. I don't understand, and uh, I am so just beyond beside I myself. How the kids and their aunt survived. Well, in previous movies, I haven't understood. I'd like how some characters have survived and stuff, but it's fucking plot armor. Especially the aunt, because she basically went around the entire movie with high heels. Oh yeah. But then she, you know, took the she, fucking, did her d did her thing and was like, see, I'm strong woman now. <sighs> I'm upset, especially with her because that's Bryce Dallas Howard and she plays my favorite character in Black Mirror. Who is like really good, and the episode fucking nosedive is like one of the best episodes in this in the show, and it's really powerful. And there's a lot of like really good like legitimate acting stuff that she does that's like really interesting stuff. And the whole ending of that is like one of the best endings of like a thing I've seen. And it's like, god damn it, you suck ass in this. It's okay. It's again, it's not really like that you can't act in it. It's just that like your character sucks. Which, again, is, like, how everyone is. Everyone's character fucking sucks. So, uh, eh. So mad. I'm even more mad over uh, more recent events from about, 
half a year ago and what that means for us going forward in terms of watching movies. So, god damn it, fucking hell, you could probably guess what I'm alluding to, and I'm even more upset about that now. So, oh shit. God damn it. We could have watched The Incredibles. <sighs> the sequel. A good sequel. Yeah, it's probably no surprise that we're watching the sequel to this. And, you know, the sequel to this, I've actually heard most people say is, like, bad. Like, I've heard a lot of people say that Fallen Kingdom is the worst of the Jurassic Park movies. So I'm like, if these are the same people, if these are the same people who think this is one of the better ones, oh my god, how fucking horrible is Fallen Kingdom going to be? Holy shit. And I think is, I kind of know what happens in Fallen Kingdom. I've seen a review of it. And there's a lot of really bad shit and, like, dumb shit in that movie. But, like, I don't know, man. I just, oh, Jesus, Jesus fucking Christ. Let me put it this way. I think, I, I don't know, but I might like this less than the next movie we're about to see. Really? That's how much I dislike this. I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm lowering my ranking where, where this was. Fucking hell. Because I, I, yeah, I put it like, I think I put it like just a bit below Frozen. No, I'm going to put this fucking down in the pits. Like, do I like this more than Armageddon? I don't know. Maybe not. That was fucking bot- like near bottom tier for me. But I don't know. It's on that level of just stupid. And ugh, I'm so mad right now. Guess I'm that bombshell. Um, see you tomorrow. Fuck me! Fuck you for giving this movie money. God damn it.